Well, unfortunately, the day has finally come where Shipped decided to deactivate me. Cue the very sad music now. I've been using Shipped for about three years. Oh, an order? Are we taking it? Nope. Shipped has been a decent app, but Instacart and Walmart Spark have just been better for the most part until recently, where I finally went to go back to Shipped and, well, um, I got deactivated. I can only assume it was because of an activity, even though I just renewed my card so I could actually use the app again. The last shipped order I did was actually documented on this channel and it was where the card stopped working and I had to pay for everything myself. I did get reimbursed, but it was like a $300 order. Definitely a little risky, wouldn't recommend, but even months after that order, my account was fine. So I don't think it has anything to do with that. Probably just an activity. Man, I guess you could say when I saw this, I was like, oh, shipped or uh, I nearly shipped my pants. This has been an ongoing joke on my channel because I have a hard time pronouncing the app quite frankly, and uh, we just roll with it. I mean, honestly, it was a very shipty thing that they did to me, and I'm very disappointed, and let's go ahead and cue the shipped montage of me completing a few orders with uh, some very emotional music, and then we're gonna get back into fun stuff, like doing Instacart, or Favor, or maybe even Spark. S-H-I-P. T is shipped. Shipped. I shipped my pants. I'm a shipped shopper. As we all know, I saw. You gotta be shifting me with all these red lights. All right, so. It is currently 2.12. We've been waiting here for about an hour and like 15 minutes already. And we have not seen anything that has been a dollar per mile round trip. No favorite orders. Uh, one Instacart order that I almost took just to film, but I realized that it just, it was 10 miles the opposite direction I need to go after this. So hard pass. If you guys have been wondering like what's happened to my channel, why am I not making the big smackaroonies anymore? It's, it's because of this. It's just so slow in my market. And then I went to finally go try another app out and they deactivated me. I've already ranted about that enough, but it's just kind of funny. Technically I'm in the negative today because we just bought some uh, Chick-fil-A. I also just don't have a lot of motivation to go out here and do this stuff because my other side hustle that I'm doing right now paid me $400 today. So it's like one of those things where I really should be focusing on that more than this, but gotta maintain the channel and I'm trying, but the orders are just not coming to me anymore. It's kind of weird. I do need to do at least three more orders by the end of this month. I got about a week uh, to actually qualify for gold cart status. I try to at least keep that because the benefits are actually pretty helpful when it comes to like gas and upside. If you guys are doing something like me where you're just like barely hanging on to Instacart, just maybe maintain gold cart status to take advantage of those gas discounts because they're huge. Currently, I'm seeing a $16 order for 16 miles going all the way to the lake, which is far away. And my house is on the other side of town. Usually if I record something happens, so I'm gonna hang on here for a little bit longer. I'm feeling it right here. May end up having to record another day. Today may just be a complete wash. Alrighty guys, so we finally got an order. It's been a long time, but we, we got a $10 favor order coming up and we're gonna do that and then I gotta go. So I'm probably gonna record some more on a different day, but I'm just stoked that I'm actually getting an order today because if I came out here and didn't get any content, that would have been just sad, very sad. So this order is only 23 items and like a mile and going back towards my house. So this is gonna work out pretty conveniently actually for myself. All right, so we are at curbside. You can see the little blue thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and send them the text, and then I'll uh, see you guys on the road. Alrighty, so it's all loaded up, and almost everything is in my little box back there, so it's gonna make this uh, rainy delivery just a little bit easier. We have just a five minute drive, and we are delivering to an elderly person that may need help uh, getting this dropped off inside of their house. So I'm probably gonna be helping them out with that, which honestly, I don't even mind. I'm just happy to have an order. Oh, now Instacart shows me something. Uh, don't worry, it's just $12, 10 miles. 
One item though, the real question is, can you guys guess the item? I'd be kind of tempted to take it actually because it's going towards my house, like very close to my house. You know, I think I might actually take this order. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take it. My wife's gonna be mad because I was supposed to meet her up somewhere else after this, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Welcome to today's sponsor, Fitville. Do you guys have wide feet, flat feet, or maybe even a bunion? Well, Fitville has you guys covered with their extra wide shoe. That's also super supportive. I'm not joking. These things are about as supportive as my wife. It doesn't get much better in this. <laughs> Does that even make sense? Anyways, these are what cheap shoes look like. I could fold these in half with one hand and hold it. These things are junk. Fitville, on the other hand, has very sturdy shoes. They're also super comfortable and they don't just come in guys' shoes, they also have women's shoes. Personally, I really love the way these look and my wife really liked these too. She stands all day at her job and these make things just a little bit easier to get through the workday. These things also clean up very easily, which is always important when it comes to shoes, especially when you guys are out there doing gig work on those rainy days. These shoes are genuinely some of the most comfortable shoes that I've ever worn. And overall, I just really like the design. If you guys like them too, check out my link down below in the description where I have a big discount for you guys. I believe at the moment it should be 28% off your order. Anyways, thank you so much Fitville for sending these shoes out to us. All right guys, we are at Heb or H-E-B as us cultured Texans call it. I'm gonna go in there, grab these flowers, a dozen flowers for someone. I'm not too sure if I said already, but the only reason I took this order is because it's almost going all the way back to my house. So normally I would never take an order like this. Like it's only a $2 tip for 10 miles, but I, it makes sense. It's gonna pay for my gas today, at least uh, idling my car for two hours straight or whatever it was. All right, a person did come up here, so excuse the weird angle, but the last delivery went fairly smooth for what it was. Um, nice, sweet old lady. I was able to get things delivered, put them exactly where she wanted it, and uh, now I'm on to my next order to make a whopping $22 today. Not the greatest, but I'm just happy that we have money coming from somewhere else because gig work uh, would not be paying the bills right now, at least in my market. All right, so we got the flowers right there. They didn't have the original flowers that uh, the customer wanted. This was like slightly different but it's gonna work out. I messaged the customer, sent them a picture of them. They were happy with them, let them know it was a little bit more expensive. They were fine with that. Um, unfortunately, maybe this could be one of those scenarios where you guys learn from my mistakes, but I quoted them the price of uh, what these flowers were in the store. And we all know Instacart has their own pricing. That's kind of like how they make some of their money is sometimes their items will be more expensive than what it's in in the store. So when I went to go scan it in, I noticed it was like $3 more than what I just told them. So what I did was I entered it in manually. So then I was able to put in the, the exact price that I originally quoted them and uh, hopefully uh, that works out for them. Hopefully they uh, actually get charged what the store was pricing those flowers at. No one likes up charges, you know? and uh, I didn't want to be that person. We do have a 20 minute drive, but like I said, this is gonna drop us off right next to our house and then uh, we'll be done for the day. I did have something else I wanted to talk to you guys about and it was actually a recent experience that I had with an Instacart shopper. So I have a family member that uses it a lot uh, for herself. She's a business, she's very busy, so she orders stuff to be dropped off to her. Well, recently she had a driver break down in her driveway while she had a bunch of family over and they needed access to the driveway. So my dad, luckily he was there. He uh, had to go help this person get their car fixed. And it's just one of those things where, all right, that catch was kind of OP. It's just one of those things where she spent extra money to actually get to spend time, extra time with her family. The whole reason she did this was so that she could spend more time with my dad, but here is my dad out there fixing this guy's car. So, kind of goofy. This is just one of the reasons why I don't pull into people's driveways, unless if like I have a massive order and it's just gonna help my, my back out. But uh, for the most part, I just park on the street because if I break down, I'm not blocking anyone's way. And if they need to get out of the house, 
I'm not blocking their uh, escape or whatever you want to say. All right, uh, for real though, I'll see you guys at the drop off. All right, so we just dropped that off. I don't know if you guys could see me taking all those extra pictures, but it was kind of weird. The address only showed a street name, uh, not a house number. It's kind of odd. So anyways, I texted the customer and they gave me their full address. And then what I did was I just took a picture of the street sign, their house number, and where it was dropped off because it was a meet the customer order and they weren't coming out. So just in case they were trying to finesse me, uh, I'm covered, but I think they're just honest people. But you never know, you gotta be careful, especially while doing gig work, if you wanna keep your account. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have to go see after I edit if I need to record any more for this video, cause I know we only did two orders, but uh, we did do a lot of talking. We talked about some Instacart stories, what not to do. We even showed you my new kicks, you know some pretty nice looking ones if I do say so myself and we even got to make some money so anyways make sure you guys drop a like down below thank you guys for supporting my channel and I'll see you guys on the next video